Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivo Jerry. So there have been this trending news on social media that um, a lot of people have been talking about. And uh, I think it became more more of a concern on the 30th of November when this little boy died. I'm, I'm doing this video to react to it. A little boy of 11 years old, he only turned 12 after his death, which his birthday was on the 4th of December. A little boy of that age was beaten to the point of death by his fellow students. <laughs> Um, immediate elder sister who was in same school as him during college Lekki Lagos uh, narrated what happened she said that this boy who was in same hostel as his as her brother was also her friend told her brother to to describe her private part in the hostel he said he hasn't seen his sister's nakedness so what is the meaning of that kind of question he can't this he can't be describing his elder sister's um private part and they kept beating him in that until he describes his sister's private part they weren't going going to stop beating him and so he had to just carve out something and the same boy went to his sister to tell his sister that his her brother was describing her private part in the hostel and she called her brother and was very mad at him that why would he do such a thing that what is he becoming because she knows that he isn't that kind of a person what is he becoming and the sister took it up and was not very until mad. the sister got to know that they were beating him telling him that until he says it they weren't going to let him go so he he um <coughs> he had to do what they said so it was close to meet him. They went. She reported the case to her parents, and they were so. They were so angry. So they had to call the school authority to report the incidents to to them, and they said they were going to suspend the student. Sylvester's elder had to school after the meeting break to meet same students in school, and she became worried and disturbed because seeing them. In same in school in same hostel as her brother got her disturbed. She knew that they were going to beat him up for the main reason why she wanted him suspended was because she knew that he was going to go back to the hostel to beat his uh, her brother up if nothing is done about it. If he he and his friends are, are left in the school. At the end of the day, the the school wasn't doing anything about it, and she kind of got busy with school activity and had to let it's going in a way only for the child to be taken to the sick bill their uh, sick bay and the parent got a call from the nurse to to inf informing them that uh, their boy played football and was badly injured on the field and that they should come and he take him in serious pain when he became serious and the boy was about to they had to confess and tell his dad what happened he told his dad that he never played any football and that the injury wasn't football injury, that it was his seniors in school that beat him up to that, to that point. His seniors in school beat him up to that point. And the peak of it for me is um, the fact that after beating, beating him up, they gave him a substance to drink. Like, I can't fathom it. Was it that while they were beating him, Nothing reminds them of their younger one. Nothing remind. Nothing tells them that this could be your young, younger brother. How can children of that age 
17, 18, be that heartless. And he mentioned about three of them that were involved in the bully. But it was told that there were six who bullied him. Six, not five, who bullied him. It was after his death he that met uh, an, a friend of his came up to say that he, he can't help but to speak out. They told them that anybody who speaks out will, will be killed and that they are going to do worst of what they did to this Sylvester, to whoever speaks up. So they all had to keep quiet and that his conscience couldn't, couldn't keep silence anymore and he had to write out. In the write-up that I saw online, he said that they got into the, the hostel that night, asked all of them to walk out, to go out, put off the light and began to flog this boy on his bed. He was on his bed just as every other child that night and they began flogging him. All of them, according to what the boy said, they all came with their belts and they were flogging this boy with their belt to the point that he fell off his bed. And when he fell off the, his bed, they kept on flogging him. They kept on flogging him and trampling upon him at the same time. He incurred fracture in the arm and, and other places. I, I can't place this. His fellow students did that to him. That he couldn't bear the pain until he passed away, until he died. His whole mouth got burnt from the substance that was given to him to take. But why would a child of that age, a teenager, a young adult, be that heartless? Why? Why? Why bully your fellow students? You can't just pick up being defensive of, of someone who is younger than you. Like seriously, I, I, I can't fathom it. I've not been able to wrap my head around all this. To the point of giving him substance to drink. It means you actually wanted to kill him? Or were you thinking it wasn't going to hurt him? I saw his dad crying. And that really got to me. He sent his son to school where they pay 3 million naira as school fees. Come to think of it, it should be guaranteed of, of, of a good security for his child. You mean there was nobody in that school at that time to stop those boys from beating him that much? This is really uncalled. This is really is is getting out of hand. In this country, we are battling economic meltdown. We are battling insecurity. Oh, oh, children of that age will have the the guts to still be that violent. Um, I I saw online that the the parents of some of those kids, we are we are protecting them. Protect a a, a, a person who did that to his fellow human, his fellow student who literally did nothing to him? Why was he even the little child up with his sister in the first place? What did that little child do to, to him? And then you're trying to protect him as, as a child instead of pushing, pushing him out to be corrected at this point in time. When, what if he gets to the age where he can no longer be corrected? And it, probably he does something in the society and had to be sentenced to life imprisonment or death. Is that when you will, you, you, you will understand that a child needs correction? In life, juvenile um, correctional center. But very soon in life, when he turns against you as the parent, will you still, will, will that point, it, it isn't going to be juvenile correctional center anymore. It is going to be something worse than that. So why allow that, that child, that child, those children, why allow them become worse? Why not put them out for, cor for correction? When you can. This is really disheartening. My joy of it all is that the school have been uh, closed down. So many persons are coming up to, to uh, give their view on the bullying that, uh, that happens in that school. 
and that it isn't something who it isn't something new i saw a parent who was also speaking out that his child her child was dealt with at night he was asked to carry his his um, bag in his head knelt down in their middle and they were going uh, they were going round and round him and flogging him and and bullying him and dealing with him in that way in that same school bullying has to stop bullying in school has to stop it's going to affect everyone in the society just like how this issue is affecting every one of us now some people couldn't sleep for many days some people couldn't eat when they heard of this case how can how how on earth oh i just feel for the family of that little boy right right now knowing that their child didn't die a natural death but his fellow students in the school where they paid three where they pay three million naira as school fees so they could take proper and good care of their child killed him his fellow students killed him i can only but imagine how his family is faring right now it's so painful to watch their child pass through such pain pain of fellow students bit a pain that a fellow student some fellow students placed on him watching him pass through that pain until he he took his final breath ah, ah, ah. 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 never be well with them for that to do my son like this to hit my son like this my god will not forgive them the god i'm serving will bring judgment upon them will bring judgment upon them in that generation it shall never be well with them because this is this is part of evil they are evil i'm not going to school authority that you don't know they don't know about this schools really need to stand up against fellow student bullying parents you need to try i know it isn't easy i don't want to blame any parents but we need to really try harder give time to our children i know there's a lot of things calling our attention so many calling our attention but to a reasonable extent we need to pay attention to our children we shouldn't just leave the upbringing of our children to a uh, house help to schools to aunties to a reasonable and extent we need to give our time to the to these children as they grow yes school have their part to play the society has their part to play but basically foundationally the upbringing of these children is in our hands as parents and we really need to do better schools need to do better the society needs to do better every one of us have have to step up sylvester's death have been preventable oh could have been prevent. It's prevent. Who was this, the, the 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 hostel master on duty? Who was supposed to be supervising and looking after those children at that point in time? You mean no one was there to save this child from this death? This is really disheartening. In any way we can, as an individual in correcting in in in, in um, bringing a positive change in the life of this young adult Let's bring it on you can speak to a child you come across and take up impacting these children positively in one way or the other i can remember even before i got married i was going to secondary schools to to um to talk to them in the little way i can and it's a vision that haven't died yet it's really much alive in me and in, in no time very soon i'm going to take that up again in any way you can help to impact value in the life of these young adults 
Just come up with it. Every one of us have a part to play. Sylvester's death, it's a preventable one. Help one child out there today. And let's speak up, let's keep speaking up until justice is saved. Justice for Sylvester is saved. The family said that I saw online that the family said that they are not going to bury this little boy until justice is saved. Justice for Sylvester. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Please subscribe, click the like button, drop a comment, and God bless you. I love you.